The country's capital is Tananarivo, or Tana, as the locals call it. And the place to go if you want to find out about the island's natural history is obviously its museum. It had stuffed examples of some of the animals I already knew something about. But I also found a mounted skeleton of the huge bird that interests me so much. One of the very few that exists. So, how tall was the elephant bird? Not an easy question to answer, because very few skeletons are totally complete. And so many of the mounted specimens have been put together with a number of bones from different specimens. And if you get over-enthusiastic, maybe it's quite possible that you stick in one or two extra neck bones. So we can't be sure about the length of the neck, nor can we be sure about the posture, really. This one looks to me rather front-heavy, and it could well be that in life the animal was more upright, in which case it stood very tall indeed, what? 10 feet, 12 feet, that sort of size, in order to be able to reach the leaves of trees on which it browsed. But a more safe characteristic is weight, and you can be fairly sure the estimates of that. And it's reckoned that the elephant bird weighed around half a ton. The extinct mowers of New Zealand might perhaps have been taller, but this was certainly the heaviest bird that ever existed. And of course, it was flightless, like an ostrich. 